Senior Night 2023. It is at this time that we would like to recognize the seniors that have made a commitment to the program for the past six years. With their constant effort, dedication, and drive, they have made contributions which factored into the success of the program as well as memorable moments. At this time, we'd like to recognize the Belchertown seniors. Isabella Colley. Isabella Sabula. Laura Cody. Karina Rondo. And Brooke Stelmokas. Now let's give it up for Frontier Seniors. At this time, we'd like to recognize Madison McKemmy, Mom Kerry, and Dad Bill. And our second senior, Haley Hutkoski, with Mom Angie, Dad Wayne, and Brother Joey. At this time, we'd also like to introduce the Frontier Juniors field hockey team. They are coached by Mary Ellen Sloan, Evan Grant, and Gabby Richards-Harrington. This team is for four to sixth graders. They currently have nine fourth graders, five fifth graders, and five sixth graders. More than half of this team is playing for the first time this year. They have won three games, lost one game, and tied one game. They have five games in the Valley Cup tournament left to go. They are working hard on their indispensable right pulls, relentless pursuit of the ball, accurate push passes, and finding space. They are happy to be here to cheer on the Red Hawks and celebrate the seniors during their last season. Let's give a round of a hand for the Frontier Juniors field hockey team. And now, for Belchertown starting lineup, number two, Edith Audit. Number three, Maya Pil Philpot. Number four, Izzy Cauley. Number six, Natalie Hollick. Number eight, Laura Cody. Number nine, Chloe Moss. Number 11, Karina Rondo. Number 12, Rachel Baltazar. Number 15, Bella Sabula. Number 17, Molly Mazafiro. And number 7, Brooke Stilmont Casey. The rest of the Belchertown. Number 14, Lila Roy. Number 19, Gianna Zenon. 
Number 23, Addison DeBona. Number 10, Izzy Haggerty. Number 13, Emma McGill. And number 24, Morgan Sambor. Now for our Red Hawks starting lineup. Number one, Macy DeMeo. Number two, Kate Walker. Number six, Ashley Taylor. Number nine, Stella Heflin. Number 10, Madison McKemmy. Number 12, Delaney Fifield. Number 13, Harper Modesto. Number 16, Abby Grover. Number 21, Claire Kirkendall. Number 22, Haley Hutkowski. In goal, number 88, Kyra Richards. And the rest of the Frontier team, number three, Isabel Oral. Number four, sorry, Rena Fahey. Number five, Ashley Galinsky. Number seven, Elsa Brown. Number 11, Madeline Antes. Number 15, Whitney Campbell. Number 18, Nora Sloan. And number 23, Rowan Riley. Number zero, Abby Schreiber. At this time, if you could stand for the national anthem. Welcome to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albers, Stacy Chapley here at the uh, Frontier uh, football field. But right now it's the uh, Frontier's field hockey field on senior night. We have the Frontier Red Hawks versus the uh, Belchertown Orioles. So We're in for a really good matchup. Last time they met, it, I believe it was a tie. Yep. So we'll see what they bring tonight. Big night tonight for seniors. We just finished uh, celebrating uh, the two graduating seniors this year. Yep, that's uh, Madison McKimmy and uh, Kelly Hedekowski. And uh, Belchstown, they have a couple seniors as well. But yeah. and Here we go. Right now we're just in the midfield, in the middle of the field. A little back and forth peppering happening. It's really tough on this football field. The grass is a lot longer than their normal play field. Frontier making inside the circle. And we have a foot call. Belchertown has a self-start. 
Yeah, and we, we talked about the records beforehand. Uh, Belchertown, they're 5 1 and 1, and they're only draws from Frontier. Um, in Frontier, they're 3 4 and 4 on the season, so. Yes, and I mean, that's. That record may not sound all that great, but when you look at who they've tied, they've tied Longmeadow uh, twice, they've tied Greenfield once and lost to Greenfield once. Um, but those are. Longmeadow won the state championship for Division II last year. Oh, yeah. And they have always had a strong team. So to, to pull out a tie against one of the strongest teams in the state that's in a higher division, that yes. can be a win. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I, I watched, well, I was at the, the boys' soccer game the other day, and they, um, they were playing um, on the field hockey field. So. Oh, they were? Yeah. I, I can't remember who they were playing, but um, I, and I, I don't know if they won or not, but I, th I think it was definitely a closer game. So. Now, Belchertown has a, a fairly active youth program, just like um, we have here at Frontier that's been building um, a feeder program. And... In, in bringing up that uh, ability of having skills already in within the students when they get here in the seventh grade is a huge accomplishment. And kudos to the to to, to the, our three coaches from uh, the juniors team. Yeah, and it, isn't it definitely like a kind of a newer thing? Because I, I know when I was in elementary school, they I don't think they had it. So they didn't. They didn't. Yeah. So that's Mary Ellen Sloan, Evan Grant, and Gabby Richards Harrington that have been doing a fantastic job in the elementary school program. Frontier right now seems to have control of the ball. Right. One shot on goal, and they uh, got a quarter out of it. Yeah, so that's definitely a good opportunity early on here in that first quarter. So a corner, we always say a, every corner is a goal. It gives the advantage to the offensive team. So we'll see how, if Frontier can take advantage of that. Ooh. Shot, goal. That was an in, kind of like a physical interference by Frontier. Belchertown takes the ball up to the top of the circle to start. I'm trying to get some um, distance on that ball. Oh, ball on the foot on Frontier. They're going to have to move the ball back to where the um, infraction happened to do the self-start. Yeah, and I was uh, front. I know uh, Belchertown. They have a. Uh, it looks like a, more of a younger team. I know they have a couple seniors, but it looked like they only had like two juniors. So. Yeah, and Frontier is a very young team. We have uh, mostly tenth graders, several ninth graders. I mean, there's eighth graders on the team that have been routinely subbed in. So. Mm. Madison McKemmy, one of our seniors. Macy is one, probably one of the best. Whoop, we have a foot <laughs> on Frontier. They will hold the whistle if, if the team is making progress with the ball, they will hold the whistle once they has, oh, right up the stick. Belgiatown got some nice distance on that, pushing it all the way almost to the end line. Belgiatown right now on the attack. Frontier's trying to clear it. Foot on Belgiatown.
It never stops to amaze me how fast the ball switches possession. Yeah. <laughs> Just goes back and forth there. <laughs> so now we used, we used to do two 30-minute halves, but the last few seasons they've gone to quarters. So we have 15-minute quarters. Yeah, that mu I mean, that must be, um, I would feel like a lot better just because you get more of a break in there. Kind of like basketball in those. Yeah, well, at first, they weren't giving them much time in between the quarters, and they would only have a good amount of time um, during halftime. Mm. But now they, I think they have three to five minutes. Yeah. And then a little bit longer halftime. But you have to be in strong cardio, physical shape, even even with those little breaks. It, you must do a lot of running with field hockey. Oh, yeah. It's just like soccer. You do a lot of back and forth. Yep. Let's see if Frontier can bring it back up over the halfway mark. Ashley Taylor's doing a good job using the sideline to her advantage there. Yeah, that on their strong side, oh, a little bit slip. Grass is a little bit on the slippery side. There's a lot of moisture in the air. It's like a big heavy dew coming in now. Yeah, we're getting more into the fall season. Away from summer. Yep. Oh, there was a hack on Belcher Town. Self start by Frontier. Trying to work it towards that goal. Oh, Haley Hastowski trying to get in there and the ball just didn't cooperate. And then she wanted the ball back because of it. That. Yeah. You have to hustle, you have to move to the ball. Um, Haley just showed really good um, transition on the attack, moving back to get back to the defensive position and actually being there to get the ball from the drive. Oh, we have an aerial with a foot on the landing, so frontier ball. Claire Kirkendall with the drive. There we go. You know, Frontier did a good job of getting the ball back there and sticking with yep. it. Harpa Modesto going to the outside. Madison using the line. And out of bounds by Belchertown. I've definitely seen a couple Frontier uh, players go down just uh, just because of like tripping. Yeah. Probably from the, the field. Hopefully they can get something going here. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was a dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit of a too much of a lift into a frontier player. So. Yeah, and that field hockey ball is, is definitely a much harder ball, so yes, you don't want to get hit with it. <laughs> <laughs> Madison and Kemi starting it, went out of bounds by Belchertown. All right, looks like they're switching the field to Harper, Modesto, out to Ashley, to Macy.
Nice job moving that ball. Yeah. Oh, hack. Just about four minutes left to go in this first quarter. Yeah. So the official time is being kept on the field. So the clock here will stop at the two minute mark. Abby starting that insert. Oh. I'm trying to decipher. I, I think there might have been a five yard violation that Belchertown was not five yards when the ball started. Foot advantage, self start by Frontier. Oh. Yeah, it's still a, oh no. It, she didn't carry it five yards. There's a certain point where they have to move the ball five yards before they pass it forward. So they either have to do a back pass or a lateral pass and then go forward or carry it five yards before they can pass it forward. That's what that one was. Yeah, in the front here, they just had a good chance to score. Yeah, looks like we had a foot along the lines there. Nice drive by Belchertown, but Claire Kirkendall's there to take it and push it back. All right, foot on by Belchertown, foot touched by Belchertown. Abby Grover's gonna start it. With a good yep. Inside here. the circle. One shot, two shots, oh. three. <laughs> I want to say there was at least three shots there on goal. Trying to, oh, and we have a corner. Looks like I think. Well, I'm just saying it's it with all those sticks and all those people and trying to get your ball on the get your stick on the ball, getting it over the goalie. The goalie was on the ground at one point there. Yeah, they definitely had some good opportunities there. Yeah. With the corner right now, they have a good one as well. It's going to be Ashley Taylor with the pass to Claire there. Ooh, just wide out on Frontier, so we'll see Belchertown come to the top of the circle and start the ball. So we are under two minutes left in the first quarter. And out of bounds. Haley Hutzkoski for the start. Ooh, it's right there. Yeah. Ashley hustling in. Oh. So there was a. She used her body to block. All right. Looks like, you know, Belchertown is trying to use those long drives to get feel, better field position. But I would say for the most part, Frontiers kept it in the Belchertown defensive zone. Yeah, it's definitely been more Frontier this first, ha uh, first quarter. And they've definitely had a lot more chances uh, with shots on goal and whatnot. Ooh. Ooh. All righty. <laughs> well, that's one way then, uh, the first quarter. <laughs> All righty. We'll be back with the second quarter. You're, you're watching Frontier Connect with Television. We'll be right back.
to, they, they had a lot more chances. Shots on the goal.
Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert and Stacey Chapley here. Uh, I apologize, I muted us after the first quarter and didn't unmute us. So that uh, that second goal there scored by Frontier, it was scored by uh, uh, Stella Heflin. And uh, Miss Chapley is figuring out who scored the, um, the first goal. So yeah, again, I do apologize. No, of none of no commentary for that second quarter, but here we are in the third. Belchdown's going to send it up, and it looks like Harper Modesto was there. Mason Mayo sends it to Ashley Taylor. She tries to get by one of the Belchdown mid uh, defenders there. Looks like it will be Frontier's ball. And not sure who number 11 is. Frontier with it though. Sends it over. And in. Ashley Taylor with the ball. And not sure what the call is, but. Belchtown's going to come out with it. The first Red Hawk goal of the night, scored by number 23, Rowan Riley, from number 13, Harper Modesto. Second Red Hawk goal of the night, scored by Stella Heflin, number 9, from number 21, Claire Kirkendall. Yeah, so there you have it. Rowan Riley scored the first goal, and Stella Heflin with the second one. All righty, I'm back. Yep. <laughs> so here we are, Frontier up 2-0. Yeah. Been running up and down the stairs a little bit <laughs> today. <laughs> All right, we're in the midfield, going back and forth here a little bit. Let's see if Frontier can turn it on. Okay. The Orioles are trying to make it themselves have an opportunity here. Frontier's defense has really been solid all year. Oh, going going wide there. And that, that has really helped um, Frontiers, you know, hold on to those ties. Yeah. And those wins. They, they definitely want to come away yeah. with the win today. So Kate Walker's ooh, broken up by Belchertown. Still with the back, chance. Back there again. Trying. And we have a corner. Right off the bat. Yeah, that was that was a great job by, there by Kate Walker to get it down the uh, get down the field. She had some nice moves yes. there as well. And it's not easy traveling with the ball on on this kind of field. Definitely like the angle of being up and over though. Yeah. <laughs> Nice pass. Sweep to the middle. Can't quite get a stick on it. And just interference there by Frontier. Looks like it's going to be Laura Kate or Coat there for Belcher Town. Intercepted by Taylor. Gets it to the man. Mace, yeah, Macy's doing a great, right there in front, trying to get a stick, a solid stick on it. I mean, you really only have like two inches touching the ground on that hook of the field hockey stick. Again, 
Laura Coat with it. She sends it way down upfield. Yep. And again, it'll be intercepted by Frontier. So. Yep. Madison McKemmy was there for it. Up to, I think that's Kate over there. Stella is over there. That was. And really, like, the long pass is just not working out for uh, Belchertown. Not at all. Here's Ashley on the attack. Very close. Oh, shot on Golden. Two shots. Gonna probably have a corner. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't even tell you where the ball was there when, <laughs> when there was like 10 people around it. Yeah. The two shots on goal and we have another corner. So gonna be, uh, it'll be Hilodowski taking the uh, corner. Again, it's two nothing Frontier with the lead. Oh. Looking at on bad it. bounce. Back in, just the ball. The ball just didn't move right that time. That's for sure. This time it's gonna be my uh, fill pot with it. Right to Ashley. Ashley over to Modesto. Madison McKemmy trying to keep it in that circle. Ooh, nice back pass. Switching the fields. Nice move there by yeah. Kirkendall. Pushing it into the circle. We gotta get there. Ooh. So, body interference. When you see them do that with their two arms side crossing them. It means they're using their body too much to protect the ball. Again, Coat will send it up. Oh. Oop. Not quite sure how the ball bounced on that one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like if they want to get back into this game, they need to go for like shorter passes because Frontier just keeps intercepting it. So and just like that, again, there's Claire Kirkendall with it. Yep. Nice m movement up forward. Ooh. Once again, two Frontier players crossing each other, blocking access to the ball. Trying to work it to the outside. Harper moving it up to Stella. Stella looking up for that pass. Nice give and goes. It's hard to hear from up here. You should hear a lot of chatter on that yeah. field. The Orioles oh. with an opportunity here. Yep. Log drive didn't work out for the Orioles again. Interference by the Orioles or by Belchertown. Haley with the drive. All right. Ooh, Belchertown got a stick on it. Nice poke out. Called it for something else, but if you're poking, you want to make sure you get the ball. Whoa. If you don't get the ball, they're going to call, call it for hacking. Yeah. 
That was interference. I think that was just momentum. Haley jumped over the ball. Yeah, again with the long passes. <clears throat> the Orioles finally having another, another chance. We just have about five minutes left to go in this third quarter. They want to get it out. Yeah. Oh, nice, nice pull. Looking to pass it out. Up to Ashley. Ashley's got Macy open up in the center. Nice pass. Ooh. Couldn't quite get around on it. And it'll be Laura Coat with, with the ball here for the Orioles. Nice drive. But Harper Modesto is right there to, to snag it up. The yeah, Frontier always seems to they seem to catch these long passes. So I, yeah. I, I don't really understand why the Orioles haven't changed what they're doing. Right. Madison McKemmy coming in. Working it towards the 25 yard line. Foot. Madison still on it. Oh, oh corner. It was a foot rolled over Belcher Towns. Yeah, if they, if, they didn't ha if they didn't call the corner there, I think Frontier, they could have had a really good chance to score because it, it looked like a four on two almost. Yeah. And then with the goal as well. Right. Haley Hutzkowski with the insert. Let's see where they're going to go. So the ball's got to come out of the circle back into the circle before it can be shot. Ooh, nice. Right there, and it's in. <laughs> I, I want to say that was Macy, but I don't know who it came from. Yeah, I think it was Macy DeMeo there that scored that goal. Yeah, so three to nothing now, with just about two and a half minutes left to go in this third quarter. Seeing who got the assist, we're waiting to see if we can get the call up. Meantime, Belgiatown right now has the offensive momentum. Yeah, I feel like they've had it more in this third quarter. But definitely in the first yeah. half, it was, it was more frontier. Nine from one. All righty. So Stella made the goal from Macy with the assist. Ah. Red Hawk goal score, scored by number nine, Stella Heflin. Assisted from number one, Macy DeMeo. All right. Well, yeah, three to nothing with under two minutes left to go. It looks like the Orioles will have to do a lot of work in the fourth quarter if they don't score one here. Yeah. And and as I said, Frontier has one of the toughest defenses. And um, the long ball is not working for, for Belchertown. Right. 
we get a foot front uh, Belcher Town with a self start. Lower coat with it again. And again, yeah, those long passes just keep go ending up in the in front yep. tier or frontier players. So. So Ashley to Macy, Macy pulling it up over to over to Rowan Riley who scored earlier. Frontier with a good chance here. Yep. Oh, we got a corner foot on Belcher Town. This could be like one of the last opportunities in this third quarter. Mm. So, Frontier scores here would be four to nothing. And there is the quarter, but I think they're gonna play out. They're gonna play out the corner. Yeah. Even though time is up. So all of Frontier should be right up on the up on that line. Because as soon as it comes outside of the circle, clears the circle by the defense game will be uh, the quarter will be over oh. well there you go there we go <laughs> <laughs> so I cleared that that line so and we'll be back yeah if you're watching Frontier Community Access Television we'll be right back hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television Tom Alvarez, Stacy Chapley here at Frontier's football field here on senior night, we have the Frontier Red Ox versus uh, the Belchertown Orioles. Frontier is leading three to nothing after the uh, third quarter here. So just the fourth quarter to go. Two goals were scored by Stella Hufflin and uh, the first goal was scored by um, Rowan Riley. And Frontier with a good opportunity here. But um, the Orioles are... All righty, here we go. Or a coat with it. Whew. And again, just Frontier ends up with the ball. Yeah, Claire Kirkendall starting off with it. She's intercepted a lot of Ooh. passes. Bat. They're just they're just hitting them right up the middle, and they're right there. Defense yeah. is right there. Frontier defense ready to pick it up. You'd almost rather go for like short, quick passes and try to go down like the sideline, like like you've seen from Frontier. So. Yeah. All right. Oh, we have a corner. They were, so the Belgian Town was in five yards wow. when that started and they attempted to go to the ball. So, And one of the new rules over the last few years is the at the discretion of the, the ref, they can call a corner even if it's outside of the circle. And again, Hutkowski will <coughs> take the corner here. Ooh. A little bit of a bunt. Claire on the drive to get it back in the circle. One shot on goal. Uh. Oh, no goal. Whistle blew just before. But they did get one shot on goal. I mean, we're looking at a definite you know, discrepancy here. One, uh, Belcher Town has two shots on Cairo. We have 10, 13 shots total for the game against the goalie for Belcher Town. Yeah, I mean, Frontier's definitely dominated this game so far. Yep. Other than that, late, later in the third quarter, the Orioles had more of a chance they did most of the game, so. Yeah. Trying to center it. Right there. Ooh, nice shot. Deflected by the goalie. Ooh. 
Nice steal by Harper Modesto. Ooh. I'm surprised they didn't call that as a dangerous. Yeah. The Orioles, they definitely had an opportunity there. And then Frontier's defense uh, finally. Went they, wide. They, they finally got back there. Um, kind of took the Orioles a little too long to get, get set up. Yeah. But here we can get to the top of the circle. Claire Kirkendall with the start. Ooh, we have a foot. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like it's so blatant <laughs> that it happens. And other times you're like, I'm not quite sure. Depending on the angle you're at. I mean, Frontier, they're... They're wearing the, the bright pink, so you can definitely see when the white ball hits off their ankles. I think they're wearing the, the pink socks for breast cancer awareness. Yeah, I think Frontier, they, uh, the volleyball team, they just had their Spike It For Life uh, yes. game. Just the other night, so... Oh, tackling from behind. They got Frontier got called on that. Didn't carry it five yards by Belcher Town. Frontier ball. And yeah, now we just have uh, just under ten minutes left to go in the entire game. So Frontier with that three-zero lead. The Royals would need goal every couple of minutes to, to well. at least tie it back up. But. Oh. Body interference by Frontier. Ooh. In the circle. I don't think the Orioles have had a corner yet in this uh, second half. They have not. And we have a timeout on the field. Yeah, so they're going to take a quick break and so will we. You're watching Frontier Kansas Hello and welcome back to Frontier Community Access Television. Tom Albert, Stacy Chapley here at Frontier's football field. And the score is three to nothing. Frontier with the lead and 8.53 left to go here in the game. Oh. I think Belgertown moved too soon. Yeah, so it's almost like a false start. Yeah, here we go. Belchertown coming up with the ball. And a steal by Dick Madison McKemmy. One of, one of the two seniors to here at senior night. All right, long drive Ooh. by Belchertown, scooped up by Macy DeMeo. Frontier forwards on the attack. Yep. One on one. And it's a goal. Yeah, and Frontier, they'll take the lead four to nothing. I think that was scored by Macy DeMeo. Could be wrong. I know Macy took the shot, but I'm not sure. We'll get the official send up, hopefully. Yeah, and with, with just about eight, eight minutes left to go here in the fourth quarter. In Frontier, they've scored in every single quarter. So 
This is an, a nice, exciting game, for not only for the seniors, but for the whole team for Frontier. They've had some really, they've had a really tough schedule. Yeah, this should definitely give them some confidence going forward. I mean, Belchertown, they're definitely a good team to be five and one and one on the season. And the last time they faced, it was a two to two draw, so. Whitney Campbell on the move. Up to Ashley. Bounce off the stick. Hopper right there to grab it. Send it up to Ashley Galinsky. Literally as fast as I can say the names, it's turning. Yeah. So <laughs> the other team grabs it. Or coat with another. One. Here. Okay, yep. So Macy DeMeo unassisted got the goal. Hold on one sec. I'm just going to pop my head downstairs. Red Hawk goal scored by number one, Macy DeMeo. All righty. And Frontier, they're doing a great job of keeping possession in the uh, Orioles' half. Well, they've been definitely been dominating the whole game. There's been some times that Belgiatown has gotten a hold of the ball. Um, down in Frontier's defensive area, but. I mean, you can just look at the, uh, like the shots on goal and the uh, the corners. I mean, Frontier, they're just, they have way more corners and way more shots on goal. That Yeah. Yeah, so it's 14, 14 shots on goal versus two from yeah. Belchertown. And corners, we have 10 corners. For Frontier. Ooh, another shot on goal. Another one. Ooh. Ow. Oh, two more shots. In the fourth quarter here. And I think Belchertown, they only have one quarter. Mm. Yep, you are correct. Long ball again, not working. Whitney Campbell's there to scoop it up, pass it up to the forwards. And we got a corner. Look like a foot. As we hear the junior field hockey team, every corner is a goal. Just about five minutes left to go in yeah. the game. So <laughs> Belchtown would have to would need an absolute miracle now. Less than five minutes in the fourth quarter. And it's Haley Hutkowski, one of two seniors doing the inserting. Nice. Back to, ooh. I think it was supposed to go back to Haley, and Haley was going to send it across the front of the net. Yep. But it took a bad bounce. Yeah, now with just about four minutes, the Orioles would need a goal every minute. But Frontier's been very uh, dominant this game. Yep. Playing some good one-on-one, -on -one, moving with the ball, using their stick as an extension to keep to push them away from the goal. Oh. Maddie McKemmy went down, but gets the self-start. And I think that was a held whistle from the hack. Oh. Oh. That was a dangerous. Yep. <laughs> All right, Frontiers, uh, excuse me, Bolts Challenge trying to get over that 50 yard line. Yeah, Frontier just in intercepts it again. It goes to Ashley, heading to goal, looking to center it, 
corner. Had a foot on it. Looks like Ashley Taylor will take this corner. Yep. This is always, you know, there's the offensive advantage here. Only four defensive players are close enough to the ball to react to it. Whoop. Not enough to get it outside the circle. So body interference on that one. Belchertown recovers the ball. They go for the long ball. Macy gets a stick on it. I guess they considered it dangerous. Yep, and now we just have two min under two minutes left to go in the game. It's been a great showing by the Frontier all around, both defense and offense. As a great uh, send off for the two seniors, Madison McKemmy and Haley Hutkowski. That went way wide. Even if that had gone in the goal, it would not um, have counted because nobody touched the ball because it was outside the circle. Mm. Bell to town on the attack. Claire Kirkenall will start with it. <laughs> if the game were to now, or if the game were to end right now, Frontier will have shut out the Orioles. And it's just been an outstanding performance um, from Frontier. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Well, it looks like I jinxed them. So. You, I think you did. I think that was scored by number two for the Orioles. That would be Edith Audette. But I could be wrong, so. We'll see if we'll get any information up from the field. So Frontier, opportunity lost with shutout, winning four to one over Belchertown here on a beautiful night in Frontier Football Stadium. Well, it was a great night all around and Frontier, they win four to one. So uh, it was a great game and a couple goals, goals scored. I think Stella F1 had two goals and Mason and Mayo had one. Ron Riley had one as well. So Frontier's going to win here and we will see you guys next time. Uh, I'm Albert, Stacey Chapley. Thank you and goodbye. I'm a player, could it be my brother? We got the same roller, he matches me.